Hi everybody. Today I want to tell you a story from the Bible about three guys who were in a really scary situation. Have you ever been in a scary situation? Maybe there's a bully in your classroom that just won't leave you alone and it just makes you feel a little insecure or maybe there's somebody in your family who isn't feeling well and oh my goodness you just want them to feel well and you just don't feel quite secure. Well today I want to tell you a story about three guys who did not feel secure at all because they were in a situation that was a little bit scary. Let me tell you about it. We call them the three Hebrew boys. Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They lived in a country that did not believe in their God. Now, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego believed in the God who we believe in, the God who loves us and who cares for us and who is powerful. And they worshiped our God. But the king of the country where they lived did not believe in our God. In fact, he built a great, big, huge, golden image. And he wanted all of his people to bow down and worship that great big golden image. That image was 90 feet tall. That's like a small apartment building for goodness sake. It's as tall as the trees. It was that big. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego couldn't do that, of course, because they worshiped their God. But he said, I want an edict to go out to all the people in all the areas around us saying, when you hear a whole bunch of music going on, some wonderful, wonderful harps and, and cymbals and all kinds of great music, when you hear that music, everybody needs to bow down to this big idol. Well, all the people in the country wanted to do what the king said, so they, as soon as they heard that music, they were bowing down to the ground to worship this big idol. But of course, what could Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego do? You're right, they couldn't bow down because they couldn't worship a big idol like that. They worshiped their God. Well, when the king saw that they did not bow down, he said to his advisors, get those guys over here. I wanna know how come they're not bowing down to my big idol. So he brought them over and he said, so what's going on guys? You gotta do this. And they said, look, we can't bow down to your idol because we worship God. We don't worship idols. And he said, look at you guys. I'm gonna give you one more chance. I want you to bow down when you hear that music going on, that gorgeous music with the harps and the cymbals and all that stuff. You bow down and we'll be all set. And they said, we're sorry, King. We believe that our God can take us out of this whole situation. He can save us from the whole thing. But even if he doesn't, we're not bowing down to you. And the king said, well, if you don't, I'm going to throw you in a fiery furnace and you're, it's going to be the end of you. And they said, we're sorry, king. We're not bowing down. Well, the king was so mad at them that he said to his big guys, he said, big guys, I want you to build a fire that is seven times hotter than it's ever been before. And I want you to bind those guys up and I want you to throw them in that fiery furnace. Well, how would you feel? I'd be scared to tell you the truth. I'd be scared. I mean, I know they said, we believe God can take us out of this situation, but even if he doesn't, we're not going to bow. And I'd be right there with them, but I'd still kind of, I'd be scared to tell you the truth. Well, it, the Bible doesn't say how they felt, but that's how I would feel. I don't know. What about you? Would you be a little bit scared? Maybe. Anyway, here's what happened. They bound up Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendigo in courts, bound them all up. And these big guys, they were big. They got ready to throw them into the fiery furnace. And let me tell you, the fiery furnace was hot. 
it was seven times hotter than it normally was. And they threw the three Hebrew boys into that fiery furnace. And the king said, good riddance to them because they didn't follow my rules. So he was quite happy with himself. He thought, you know, that was fair. I gave them a chance. They didn't do anything. And he decided he would just look in the fiery furnace because all of the guys who had thrown Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fiery furnace, they had just been on the outside of it. It had been so hot. They had all died right there. They'd fallen down dead outside of the fiery furnace. So the king didn't get too close because he didn't want to die, right? But he got a little close enough to see. And what he saw, he could hardly believe his eyes because he said, Guys, I'm seeing something very, very odd. He said, Didn't we throw three men into that fire, bound their hands and their feet bound? Didn't we throw them in there? And all of his advisors said, Yes, king, live forever. Yes, you did. And they should all be just a bunch of ashes by now because that fire has burned them all up. And he said, then how come I see three men walking around in the fire and I see a fourth man who looks like the son of God? What's going on here? And the king said, guys, let those three Hebrew men out of the fiery furnace. And so they opened the door and they let Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego out. And the king said, what's going on with you guys? He said, praise be to your God who has brought you through the fiery furnace. Can you believe it? God did not take the fiery furnace away from those boys. Those boys were in the fiery furnace, but who was with them? Yes, God was with them in that fiery furnace. And he took them through the fiery furnace and out, didn't he? And sometimes you just need to ask God to come with you through any situation you might be in, in a situation that just might be a little bit scary. And you can say to God, God, come with me through this and take me out of this. And I think that is a really good lesson for us to have today. And a really good lesson, boys and girls, for you to share with your parents. They need to know that God can go through them through this situation and he can take them out of the situation and if you'd like to read this in the Bible you can go to Daniel chapter 3 verses 1 through 30 and ask your parents to read that with you for your own devotional well boys and girls it's been good being with you today I've enjoyed sharing this wonderful story about God's power and God's love for each of us I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.